Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me. Did you have a Merry Christmas? Did you have the best time ever? Boxing Day here in the UK. I'm not going to get into the complication of what Boxing Day is, but it's a bank holiday. It's a holiday from work today and it's part of the festive season. So I'm not coming out with a video project for you in the sense of something to do but I am going to bring you a tip video. Now, for five and a half years that I have been a demonstrator, I have kept my thinlets like this. And I, my thinlets, framelets, all of them live in this. And this is a fridge bin. This thing is super heavy by a company called Interdesign. And it's, these are all my framelets and they're in alphabetical order so that I can find them at a glance super easily. What have we got there? Coffee cups, detailed deer, detailed dragonfly, detailed floral, alphabetical order. And then at the back, at this end, I've got my embossing folders, not particularly. Oh, look, there's one there that's, that's a new one. <gasps> um, they're not in alphabetical order because I don't have very many of them, but my thinlets and framelets I do have in alphabetical order. However, I've done an awful lot of framelit work recently and I swear stamping up should sell the glue that they stick their framelits to because oh my goodness you cannot get the blooming stuff off because it's so strong and it was just beginning to drive me a bit batty so took myself off to Amazon and I found this is 10 sheets of magnetic well, I want to say magnetic paper because it's really quite thin, but it's obviously it's not magnetic. It's not paper because it's bendy. And this was 10 A4 sheets for, I want to say it was about 4 99 And I thought I can get quite a few out of a sheet here. So we're going to do this together. I haven't done any. This is a brand new pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my framelits and I'm going to put them on something. I have a notebook here and I'm, I won't lose them because what I want to use is this part to measure and you see this is how strong the glue is it doesn't want to release and I wonder if that in the past has put me off you doing framelits because of the twanging and I you know I'm ever fearful that I'm going to lose them so I'm not going to sit and do every single one of my framelit packs. I will do them as I use framelits. I will stop and take a couple of minutes to do, do this. What I am doing is I'm pulling the paper away. I'm not pulling the framelit itself. So let me get this measured up. And I need, I need metric size because it's metric. It's A4. So let me turn that over and get the metric side. Okay, can you still see what I'm doing? So, um, we are at 15 and a half by 12 centimetres. Now, that's a really difficult size because that isn't a quarter of a sheet, which is a bit of a frustration. Is it going to be a quarter if I go that way? You see, it's just too much. I'm going to risk doing one piece that's a quarter of a sheet of, a, of this being A4, yeah, I'm going to make it a quarter because, you know, I want to be able to get 40 out of my pack. So I'm going to simply cut it in half and I really hope that my trimmer is going to go through it. Oh, you did. <laughs> Happy days. So there's two and there's four. Um, oh, that's made me so happy. I will get a link for you. Um, so this is going to be smaller than that. But yeah, only by about a centimetre and that's okay, I can live with that. So let's see what happens. Which is the magnetic side? Oh, that side, the shiny side. This one's got shiny, not as. The shiny side is the magnetic side. <laughs> you can just you can see my face my eyes have lit up particularly like that it might possibly work really well with our darling with our lovely label punch is it called lovely label i don't know 
So, okay, these aren't going to fit on perfectly, but let's see what happens when I layer up. Is it going to cause much issue? I don't think it is. So I've got layered up. No, no. <gasps> it's like the world has opened up for me. <gasps> If I could sing, I would. Nobody wants to hear that, though. So the only problem is that one is just not quite big enough to house that. But mm, I'm OK with that. And yeah, it, it can poke off a little bit. But that, and then with this part, in here... Maybe if I turn it that way over. Oh, that's going to be better. Oops. That. Oh, so much better. And then I can come along and go, oh, well, you know, I fancy using needlepoint look today. And they're just there. Oh, just brilliant. Happy days. So, like I say, they were, I, I want to say it was about 4 99 for 10 sheets of A4. You don't have to cut it down to A4. You could be the same size that Stampin' Up! does theirs, which is going to be... Uh, yeah, it's a centimetre and a half wider and mm, yeah, about half, yeah, half-ish centimetre longer. But I'm OK with that. Oh, should we do another one? We can have another set. Um, one I've already opened. What's this one? Eclectic, eclectic Layers Thinglets. Oh, I clearly used and enjoyed this one a lot. Because look, there's bits of cardstock in it. <laughs> okay, should we do this one too? Oh, for goodness sake. I appear to have got glitter and all sorts stuck on there. What side do I want? The shiny side, is that? That's the shiny side. So your boxing days around the country can be sat sorting out your thinlets or maybe in a few days time. Amazon Prime, you can do it tomorrow. Order today, do it tomorrow. Right, so we'll have that one there sticking off a little bit. Where's another big one? Those are some big ones. <laughs> Shall I take out all the bits of cardstock of that one? <laughs> Can't believe I put it back like that. How naughty. Oh, look at that one as well. <laughs> Good grief. You know what? I know I'm late to the party with this. I know I'm not, you know, coming up with any kind of creative solution. But I've been, you know, I've just, oh, well, you know, I don't need to do that. But because I was doing so much framelit work, I thought I really do need to do that. So I'm going to fit in there. Lovely, that one can fit in there. And we've got some little diddy ones. That can fit in there with a bit of pink cardstock. Whoops. That one over there. That one on there. And are they going to move? No. Look at that. And then you just easy on, easy off. <laughs> I am so excited by this. You have no idea how excited I am by that. Hopefully I actually won't bend any of these anymore. And then back inside my envelope, I do keep them in the envelopes and I keep them like that because, you know, Alphabets and I are great friends. Oh, look, I've just caught that. Um, but yeah, so I won't ever not have them in those envelopes, but happy, happy me. It's the little things, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? It's the little things. Right, I shall leave you now. So, yeah, I will find some links for you. Um, but it's literally... I'm just, I don't know if I've got the wrapper in there. Oh, I have, because I literally... Brand new. The Magnet Shop. I got them off Amazon. 10 A4 magnetic sheets. Thin and flexible. Half a millimetre. Well, they are very thin, aren't they? Yes, very thin. Um... Yeah, I'll make sure there are some links for you. 
my crafting life is revolutionised. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. See you on Friday for a, for a proper project. No, a tutorial project. Bye.